Um, <laughs> so, it's now the end of the year, somewhat. I mean, it's Black Friday right now as we're recording this, and Thanksgiving was yesterday. But uh, I'm moving everything back into its places, trying to set up a nice area. So, since I had to deconstruct the collection and whatnot, I thought I'd make a video of me reorganizing. Not only reorganizing, but also reviewing everything that I have so far. This is like a little recap for the year of whatnot. So basically, I am flexing to the highest degree that I waste money on a daily basis. Don't ridicule me. <laughs> so in this box that you can somewhat see in frame, I have a lot of things that were on the shelf before I had to take it down. Um, there might be some Sanji stuff, but don't worry about that. I'm just a simp. That would just go right up here. But uh, for... I'm going to try to organize this as separately as possible. The Hell of a Boss maybe being on this shelf, and then Hazen being on this shelf. And because Fat Nuggets and Angel Dust don't really have that much merch that stands out, this one's going to be mugs, and this one's going to be plenty. And maybe books. Who knows? So, I guess we'll dissect this one little by little. So, so we'll do we'll do Stolas on this one, Octavia, and then we'll do Moxie, and then Angels and Fat Nuggets, mugs, playmats, and whatnot. Maybe we'll try getting some playmats on here that fit the characters, but we'll get to that when we get to it. So let's go ahead and get started. I already see a playmat right here, which I guess we'll just go ahead and start with that. This one, from the summer of 2023. Angels and Fat Nuggets summer. And I guess we'll just put it right here. But we have something I'll lay on. It is going to stick off the shelf, which... It's fine. Whatever it fits. Somewhat. Alright, what's... What the hell do I do next? <laughs> First maxi item on the top of the box is the M Trick or Treat and whatnot. I don't know if you can see it from this far away. Um, I'm right there for now. Might have to adjust these shelves in a second because uh, I'm realizing Moxie's not going to be able to fit in his own thing. So we'll, re we'll assess the situation when it comes to it. Uh, we have a lot of these. The grimoire necklaces. So, since that's technically Dolus' grimoire, I'm just gonna put them all right here for a little bit. There. We'll maybe have them open and organized, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, ooh! The Metal Card Set Series 1. I really hope they come out with the Stolas one, that'd be so cool. Or like the ones for the, the Hasbin Hotel. I feel like for these, I want it to be open, so that it doesn't like it. It goes in like a square ish, so you can't really have it as like a really open concept, like I'm thinking. So we just had it closed and whatnot. I'd be like, like that. We'll put it over there in a second. Is can it even fit? Yeah. Okay. Stained glass stolas, stolas. <laughs> right there, buddy. And then on that same note, same glass angel dust. Gonna go play. Let's see if I can pull out angel dust and fat mega stuff as much as possible before I have to go over there and whatnot and change camera angles. So at least I can organize this. Oh, uh, what else is in here? Stole with stuff. Or stole with stuff. Angel dust. The switch case. Gonna go right here. I gotta say, you should definitely get a switch case of these things. These, these things are really durable, really solid. Ooh, I see it. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta move my him. Yeah, don't worry about those. <laughs> there he is. Kids, <laughs> I did order the fuzzy one. It hasn't shipped yet, so I'm really hoping it comes in soon. I'll put him right here in the corner into the switch case. He looks all proper. A little angel dust as well. Oh no, he's his head's too big. Wait, never mind. That works. His, his little head is smushed. Maybe. Nah, he's fine. He's 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 cool. Alright. Uh what what's next in here? Oh yeah, so I found this again. This is what I had the the keychains on and whatnot. So as we go through, I'll put all the keychains. I'll put that shit right there. Which on that same note, I found the, the little the, the what are they called? Thumbtacks? Push pins. So I guess we'll start putting this shit back. Which we had the Christmas one. I hope they do another one of these for Christmas this year. That hasn't released yet. The Wave 2 has not released as of recording this. 
Which, even if it did, I feel like I wouldn't get it until, like, January. Just the shark robot way, I guess. <laughs> a lot of keychains in here, too. I just kind of put them all at the bottom. To be completely honest, there's some sandies at the bottom, too. I did not think this box. Solus and Blitz 1. Very cute. Alright, let's get a push pin. Go right here. You're gonna be a star. Little Octavia keychain. Precious. Such a cutie. Actually, I'm just gonna put her over here for now. You, you guys don't get to see the magic. I mean, somewhat. Here's the little switch. He's looking pretty dapper. People say dapper anymore. Actually, I wouldn't think, I don't think I would describe this. I feel like for for something to be described as dapper, it's like a suit or like a really nice dress, you know? I don't think dapper is how you would describe a witch. <laughs> oh yeah, I probably should have prophesied this at the beginning if you're new to my channel. I mainly collect Solus, Octavia, Angel Dust, and Fat Nugget. So, I don't have a full, full collection because I don't like some of the characters. It's not like I don't like them. I do like most of the characters in each one. I just... But there's, there's some that, like, I like more, and I would rather collect them, pay money for this thing, for something else. <laughs> and that's my justification for spending money. <laughs> but when I'm done with them, they'll sit up right here. And then we have a little Moxie one. Maybe they collect Moxie for my husband, because he likes Moxie. Also, these definitely do glow in the dark if you've got any of the skeleton ones. They really do glow. Mm -hmm. Who's texting me, but they gotta stop. <laughs> What is this one? Oh yeah, Happy Christmas! I mean, Christmas is right around the corner as we're recording this and whatnot. I still have so much things to get people, and I don't have enough money to do so. You know what I mean? I want to get them all at once, that way I don't forget about everyone, but... Also, if I got them all at once, I would have no money for myself. And, uh, some of this merch is right around the corner as well of... ...getting released, so... Priorities, I know. Did I try to do predictions in this video of, uh, what do I think the thing is? Definitely pins. They're probably gonna be like the wrap of pins like they did last year where they did them based off of episodes and whatnot. I'm really hoping that's the case, because I feel like a lot of good moments could be, uh, captured in pin form, you know? Like, um... I don't have an example right now. <laughs> Too many good moments. Cannot insert a good moment. <laughs> I don't know, I, what's, what's a good moment that has happened in the series so far? But like, a lot of- I feel like they can do a lot of scene pins now, since a lot of the newer episodes have come out, especially with like, the Fizz and Ozzy stuff. Bambi can get a standee and what? Ozzy can get us like, a- a nice, like, scene thing. If they make- I- I call it now. They're going to make a standee of- of Ozzy and Fizz doing the cricket song of like them coming together at the end and being all romantic and whatnot. If they do not do that, I will sue. I'll find someone to do that to myself if they don't plan on doing it. Even though I don't collect Fizz or Ozzy, it, it, it just feels like it's a thing that should happen. Just saying. They gotta get their priorities straight, and that is being gay, I guess. <laughs> also, I'm very excited about uh, some of the teasing stuff that they released for uh, Dolus, I believe. They uh, released like some kind of like music video thing, but I think it's going to be one of those music things that are going to be part of an episode, just like the uh, record thing and whatnot. Um, I'm a little nervous about the newer episode that's going to be released because it's called The Full Moon and if anyone's been following the lore, every full moon Blitz has to return the book to Solus and has to do things to him. <laughs> so, uh, but... Solus finally got an Asmodian Crystal, which, uh, in the lore, it, um, Septibus used them to travel to Earth and whatnot through Ozzy to spread, like, I don't know, fucking like STDs or something. So if he gets one, he no longer has to do the thing with Solus. So, um, people are thinking Blitz isn't going to take it well, and then think that Solus is pushing away, and then the ship is ruined. So, I'm a little nervous for, uh, December, because I think that's when they said a new episode was going to be released. So, I'm just a little scared, that's all. <laughs> oh my god, how many keychains do I have? Oh, one more. <laughs> I was like, I'm running out of room. <laughs> Very quickly, you're not going to be able to see any of these. 
I think I'd rather one of these pin boards from uh, Dollar Tree, because they're really nice and not that expensive. Yeah, so it looks like a flutter. Uh, I do have the Stolas Glow in the Dark and the Octavia Glow in the Dark keychains, like the skeletons. They're just on my keychain right now. But that's that's what we're working with. I'm gonna put you right here. Oh god. <laughs> They're fine. I think that was all the key change, at least that's what I'm hoping. Would suck if it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I found two angel dusts, so we're looking great. We found the uh the most uh, the first ever one released back in February. February of 2022, I believe. That's when they released lanyards for the first time. Perfect. Let's put you right there, buddy. And then I got this one. This one's fan made. I believe it's still available on Etsy. How cute, it's a little double-sided as well. I'm trying to find more our like Etsy stuff that has Angel Dust standees. But um they sell out pretty fast. So I'm constantly in a, in a struggle. Hopefully with the new season like the actual season releasing soon, maybe we'll get some more. Who knows? Oh yeah, there's um Oh yeah, I got this one. It's fan made. And I got it from Makari, which I feel kind of bad about because I didn't actually support the author. Not the author. <laughs> the, or the artist directly, but I've never seen this one before. And it's like a... Brady of Dust. The ship name between Alistair and Angel Dust, so... I'm gonna go right here. Wait, since it's a big one, I'm gonna put it in the back. So smart. Just do the loop deep and thin pull. And your shoes are looking good. I make so many references. I never noticed how many references I, I pull from niche things until like Jolene pointed it out and they're like, why? And I'm like, I just think it's funny because if someone, if it goes over someone's head, then I just feel good about it. And if they do recognize it, then we can bond over our like shared knowledge of this obscure thing. Anyway, this is an angel dust keep, like lanyard and whatnot. Uh, I did have this, uh, I used it at some point. So uh, some of the, the black is now gray. I think this thing fell off a little bit. I wish that they, if they really, I think it's retired. I don't think they're bringing it back, but if they do, I would kind of purchase a new one. That way I had an old one, but uh, brand new. It wasn't damaged. <laughs> Octavia keychain. Forgot about this one, oopsies. I guess I didn't put this one on my keychain. I think it's just so awesome it's on my keychain. Also, I have a fan made angel dust on my keychain as well. Maybe if I go downstairs and go get my keys and show it off. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're getting to some Hazanotel stuff. These are the cards that finally, they got retired and they sold out this year during uh, the Black Friday wave, so. I now have something that's out of stock forever that is very popular, so I feel good about myself. Then we have, um, here's the Hell of Off ones, which I think they're still in stock. They brought them back finally after they released in summer. So, very excited. There we go. I think this is the, the last Angel Dust Sandy that we have. There we go. This is the Valentine's Day one. I was really hoping that they would release an Angel Dust uh, Sandy for the summer, but they did not. Oh wait, there's the Attic video thing. How did I forget the Attic music video, Sandy? I feel like a failure. Okay. Alright, that is- that's an Aussie thing. Ooh! Boy, I forgot about this. I got one of the sketchbooks. I forgot about this. I've been trying for a while to find the sketchbook version of Hell of a Boss, but uh, I cannot find it for the life of me. Um, they, I remember by one point seeing it. But that's it. I, I, I wrote in it sometimes of taking notes on writing things and stuff for work, but um, yeah, it's pretty pretty good condition, all things considered. I don't know why it doesn't have a spine. It just like um, just rubber. I don't know if that's our robot sold it that way, or the person I bought it from got it broken, but... you break. Need some light balancing. Where is the Addict music video? It was so good. I finally brought it back and I think it already like sold out immediately, which uh, I'm not surprised. Because I liked Angel Duster pretty crazy. Self burn. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm a surgeon. There we go. Alright, let's be right here since you're smaller. I kinda like I know they're smaller or whatnot than the actual 
ones, but like they put a lot of detail into it, so I, I can respect the uh, I can respect it. It's a balancing. You get more in detail, but it's shorter. So I'm fine with this. I think that's all the tell the boss and sorry, all the Asman hotel stuff. Also, I do have this. My age and agenda. I don't know if that picks up on the, <laughs> the thing. But it's a sticker book of uh, everything that I have in my collection. Unfortunately, Hasbin does not have any stickers right now. I hope they release them in the future. That'd be really cool. <gasps> stickers are coming off. No. Some of the ones I got from Gummy. But I, sometimes I put the Shark Robot stickers in here. They're like unique. I don't save every single one because some of them are just like the plain. I don't know, but mainly, this is mainly Hell of a Boss. Yeah, Hell of a Boss stuff. So, summer ones, you got the Christmas ones that they released. Um, this is, this is just a lot. <laughs> but, yep, a lot of, a lot of it. Hell of a... Um, you probably just put it on the shelf and whatnot with the, uh, the mugs. Take that as well. And boom, that is... Everything has been related and whatnot. So, um, I guess I'll flip over to that side and we'll get this area set. It's gonna look all pretty. Pretty bad set. I'm doing great! <laughs> okay, so I'm over on the side now. This is gonna be hell of a boss. Oops, shit, I already fucked up. <laughs> gonna be fine. Um, let's go ahead and decorate for Polis up here and whatnot. But I'm just realizing that if I want to do this, I need a mat for Octavia and then... Alright, that's the point. <laughs> uh, I also found a couple of things that I forgot about. So, uh, this one is going to be for Octavia. I'm going to go right there. Which I think I already have to reassess this situation. <laughs> I might have to move the Octavia shelf a bit higher, so let me do that real quick. All right, so I came to a decision. <laughs> uh, because Octavia and Moxie don't really have a lot of physical things and whatnot, like candies, all that jazz, they're just gonna go on the same shelf together. So uh, deal with it. <laughs> I'm gonna put the Octavia one with, with her and Stolas. I bring a little Christmas tree on this one. Look, oh, oh shit, she's fallen. Oh boy, I'm falling and I can't get up. You need life alert. <laughs> and Moxie. I'll go right here. He is having neck contortions right now. <laughs> Looks like he has no neck from the way I positioned him on here. Oh, but I put Solus on here, make sure he had enough headroom. Um, Solus, um, well, from the playmat that I have in my possession, the the sexy Valentine's Day one will be put on here. From 2023, actually, so. I got I gotta wonder what they're gonna do with those Valentine's Day ones next year. Hopefully they're cool. There's only so many ways you can draw the same character sexy, but I guess rule thirty, rule thirty four people already figure that one out. Also, like NSFW author, like not authors, <laughs> NSFW artists kind of know how to do that already. So maybe they can hit them up. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> All right. uh, here's Solus. Hopefully you can see him. I mean, I can see him on the little webcam thing. And then I have a little like a fan made baby Solus. I really hope we get like an official one soon. It would be cute when they, when they do. I'm gonna put them separately and whatnot. Let's see the, the one that's over here. So, all right, let's start with the standees. I get. Um, I'm gonna do the ones that are right here, my, like right down before I throw and go like that <laughs> to reach the boxes. Um, here is the Stolas one. Normal Stolas, nothing too special. And then the plain old Oh Boss logo, let's go. Probably should do these on a flat surface, especially for the ones that don't have like the little rim thing, so make sure you don't go through. Stolas right next to Stolas. Oh, here's a Moxie one, but do we have this back? The bottom thing? Yes we do. We made it white. <laughs> I guess to match his hair. Why have I never noticed this? <laughs> I guess you really only put these things together once. But, uh, there you go. Put the little Hubble Boss thing. And then... Good old Max. 
I wish they made... Oh, wait, not to go together. I wish they made a Fat Nuggets one, but I don't think they will because he's so tiny. Okay, why not? There you go. He'll go right there. And then... Oh, here's another one in Moxie. It's the Summer version. See, I was pretty pleased with the Summer ones. I'm just a little disappointed with the, the lack of Aspen. Because it's copyright. Dodging and shit. Good old Moxie. I love that the Sandy matches his little uh, keychain that he has, so I'm very pleased with the results. Also, here's where it gets a little tricky about where I want to put these, because um, Solus and Octavia uh, sometimes are in the same, like... What's a good example of this <laughs> that I can pull? Uh, for example, this one features Solus and Little Octavia. I think I'll put all the main Solus ones up here, see how crowded it gets as fast as possible, and then we'll put the ones that also feature Octavia down here. Because uh, Octavia doesn't have a lot. I mean, she has this one that features her and Luna, which I do like. Which I'll go ahead and put that up now. Big outer space, which I'll just put that to the side for right now until we assess this. Uh, make sure we get all the Solus stuff first. Which, um... I, when I went downstairs to see if I could find some more uh, playmats, I found a couple things that I want to put up here. Like, for example, the original Grimoire and whatnot. I think the, the dark version of it, not the dark version, like the red and white. Red and black, that's still in the box. Right here. So, I'll put it here for now. That's ready falling. Alright. <laughs> also, I found Octavia. I don't know how long she's been down there. I don't remember even putting her up in the first place. There. And then, where's... Where's... Where is she? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Alright, there you go. There we go. Adult Octavia. Oh, teenager. And then... Little Octavia right here. Just a little precious little baby. I mean, she's like, barely taller than the sign that tells you what show she's from. Right there. Yeah, it's looking good. And then let's go ahead and place the Moxie thing. Maybe like here? That looks great. Alright, and then that box we're gonna assess in a second. Get the uh we have a lot of these, which I have out, so let's take care of the thingies. We got stained glass stolas. We got stolas demon side. We got one stole us my blitz. We got Hell of a Summer Road Trip, which is over here. Somewhere. There we go. Uh, we got You Will Be Okay, Jumbo Pin. And then Story Time Stole with Plus Octavia. Yeah. <laughs> we'll organize it and won't look like this in the final cut. Speaking of which, let's pull down this box. Anything breakable in here, right? Oh, yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a handful and assess the situation from there. Alright. We have a lot. <laughs> um, this one is a Night at Aussies, which, uh, yep, there they are. Two Nights at Freddy's. Is this where you wanna be? Two Nights at Freddy's. I'm just gonna stack these for a little bit before we, uh, figure out where we put them. Let me put them in a, a line. Perfect. Oh yeah, demon stole was so cool. What goes? What was red? I think this. Yeah, I feel like this is the summer. Yeah. I was like, no, it can't be the the Valentine's Day one because the Valentine one very specific. Beautiful. Yep. And then the good old one. Do you think we'll have Christmas sandies or ho holiday ones? That'd be cool. So we need the little. Hell of a sign, which thank god there's like a lot of them around this box. Oh, we got uh, Hero Blitz in here and whatnot. Beautiful scene. Gosh, shit, that's a soda. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure that's someone's favorite. Just like Cherubs is someone's favorite, but like, I can make fun of it. It was such a weird jump because I wanted more story. It was nice for them to- well, they didn't even do their jobs. I was like, well, maybe this, this one is Moxie and Millie's date night one at Ozzy's. A good one, which I don't have one of them, so it's just gonna show up there. 
Um, this one. This is some chilling by the tree. Is it? What are any of these pieces? <laughs> oh, this is Lululand, I think. Yeah, and then we put this shit in the background. <laughs> put the... Also, I'm gonna stop sitting there, like... You're gonna hurt for the rest of this thing now. Oh, God. <laughs> the pain. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's the date night thing. Oh, God, this one's falling. It's fun. It's fun. I don't know who keeps texting me, but they gotta stop. I'm, do I'm doing important things. <laughs> the important things that I'm doing. <laughs> oh, yeah! We got the, uh... I I'm actually currently using this, but I will put it on the shelf for purposes of this video. But, uh, yeah. I got my games in here. I got Minecraft. And I got... Pokemon and... Pokemon and Super Smash Bros, which somewhat works whenever it feels like it. I got angry over the game once. I slammed my Switch down, and now the game... Has trouble running. Wonder why. <laughs> Kavia, lanyard. There's so many keychains. I'm gonna have to redo that that keychain board, or maybe just get a new new board at the rate that I'm going. I'm gonna put the lanyard right there. Oh, pretty. Do I treat? I'm gonna put the bandana on the small child. Hold on. Yeah, just put the bandana on the child. Gucci gang. I, I know she don't know how to put a bandana on, so. This is gonna be a first for everyone. Yeah, this looks great. Hell yeah, Gucci gang. <laughs> he looks like a shitty pirate. <laughs> That's big one before we enter the, the baby ones of uh, the standees. Little Valentine's moxie. There's the little babies and whatnot. The, 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 the chibi. Uh, chibi standees. Here, here's Moxie. There's Stolas. And here's Octavia. Looking all pretty and whatnot. And then there's a couple of the keychains in here, which... I want stuck. Oh, I got it unstuck. Alright, that's Valentine's Day. Summer. Fan made uh, last summer 2022. Um, Moxie 2022. Put that up later. I might do separate pin boards for separate keychain boards. So one for Helva and one for Hazard because some of them are getting a little excessive at this rate. Oh, yeah. And we got a book. The red version of the Grimoire and whatnot. Very pretty with the red glitter on the sides. Let me look at this. This one still has the little gold glimmer. You can somewhat see. I love that they're stacked. Too. Very pretty. I also do get the, the Black Friday notebooks in, so you guys get a little heads up on that. I got the Solo Side Tiggy ones, obviously. Because they were cute. And has them on it. Which I think we established. We're going to put the books. Oh, the, sh it, the shit's too small. I'm gonna just place them right here. We'll do a- I'll reassess for a while. And then... Oh yeah, we gotta put the baby back. You know what they say. Baby got back or some shit like that. The baby's causing mischief. No, no, say it. Okay. That's the one thing I gotta say bad about the, the Etsy plush game and whatnot. It does not know how to fucking sit. I don't know how they take the pictures for this thing, but you know what? This is this is the angle I have to put it at. Let's put the the, the circus one right here, and one, uh, and then this one we'll add with the Octavia stuff. So, yeah, take the babies and throw them on the floor, I guess. Put the little Octavia down right there, lanyard right there. We are so smart. <laughs> Also, I'm just realizing I forgot about the, the necklaces and whatnot. Uh, I don't know where to... Oh, I have an idea. Let me just have them open on this one. All nice and pretty. Wait, should I have them in like an Olympic order? Where it has like the gold and mineral, silver, and then the... the bron I know it's not bronze, but like... It's bronze, come on. You can call it rose gold all you want, that's fucking bronze. And then, uh, they have a couple things left in this box, which I kind of forgot about. 
So I have a couple of the mugs that I found in the basement while I was reassessing stuff and whatnot. So let's go through that. I'm gonna find some of the other mugs soon, but that's that's an after I record date. I'm gonna take some of my video games. To flex on you guys, I have Pokemon Black and Pokemon Black 2, and Pokemon White and Pokemon White 2, but that one isn't the case because when I got it at GameStop for only $30, it didn't have a case. <laughs> and just to answer the question, this was before the pandemic? Yeah. Oh yeah, I got it for $39.99. Flexing on you bitches. <laughs> oh, Octavia! They're really... Oh, Jesus. Um, maybe I'll have all the playmats up here, so we'll have the mugs around this section and whatnot. Maybe they're all nice and stacked and whatnot, but I'm afraid that if I stack them and someone knocks them through the bookshelf, they're going to shatter and I'm going to cry. I'm going to ugly cry for a while. So I'll reassess that situation when it comes to it. Blue the land mug. Very beautiful. Put that fit right there. Then we got the Valentine's Day mug with Stolas. Very pretty. I like that they did the Ozzy and Fizzarelli one. That was like the last one that they ever done. The- oh, you can clearly see the print on here. <laughs> this is the the Halloween of 2022 of the Husband Hotel Gang. Oh, what a face that Angel Dust is in. Uh, here is Christmas 2022. The Elva Boss Gang. Think this is Valentine's Day of the Has Been Hotel Game. Get the lesbians in the front. Front and center lesbians. Has the Has the boss. Halloween. Still us at the end. That's what's important. Love how they did black mugs. Really got into the Halloween spirit. Stolas. Stolas mug. Should I? Can I at least, like, stack them like this? No, that makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. Just for the purpose of the video, we'll stack them like that. But right after this video cuts off, I will put them back on surface level. Anyway, here's the summer one I was missing from my first uh, overview of this shit. I, I did find it later in the pantry. Beautiful. Um... Oh, the first ever mug release. Well... Collection because they, they did the sun, the, the Christmas holiday mugs of you, yeah, <laughs> brain shut off, brain go numb. What oh, penny? Five minutes. Thank you. And then the last one that I have in here is the hell of a boss Valentine's Day. There's a couple mugs that are away right now, like the Angel Dust one, a couple of the other stuff, but those will come out of hiding eventually. We're still trying to move stuff. And then uh, I would have a couple playmats that I can show off. Some of them are still hiding somewhere in the basement, so reassess that soon. But I have a few playmats with me on surface level. Um, the ones that I can't show off are one, the Angel Dust Summer 2022 one, because um, that's on my desk right now. <laughs> the Summer Stolas of 2020. Oh, wait. Did I, did I say the right No, I did not. That one's 2023 summer this year. That one's on my desk. Summer Stolas 2023 playmat is on my desk in my office. That's my way for work stuff. And then there is a Spring Mat of 2023 of Little Octavian Stolas. That one's at my other office, so I cannot show you those because uh, I cannot reach them. Well, I can reach that one. I'm just not going to take it out because then I got to put it back. You guys can look up what these ones look like. But I got the summer of 2022 and whatnot. Very cute. Roll this puppy up. I'm going to just have them rolled up and then when I need to or show them off, I can unroll them and whatnot. But they're technically labeled as complete. Uh, and then I have... The first ever Valentine's Day one. Yeah, it's got it's a lot of wear and tear over the years. 2021? No, 2022. Damn. Years are confusing sometimes for me. 
it feels weird that we're at the end of 2023 when it feels like I didn't even experience 2020, you know? It's been a weird couple of years with, with COVID and all that jazz. And then I have a few more I can grab, so I'll be right back. I have a few playmats. Mainly these are the Halloween one, and plus one other one from Black Friday of last year. But, um, we got Rage Stolas. Very cool and whatnot. Roll up. Roll, roll up sounds really good right now. <laughs> and then the Luigi board with the main forecast plus stolts right there. Knew I had to grab it. I don't think you can actually use this as a like an Luigi board. Because I think they have to be made out of wood anyway, so this is just an inspired thing. I saw one person get mad about this playing that. I mean, like, they should not be condoning uh, summoning spirits and whatnot is insensitive. There's a reason why they were banned on, on like, in stores. And my chill, dude, it's just, it's just the drawing. <laughs> anyway, this is, uh, Little Stolas Luck. Little and Little Blitz Sleepover. Very cute. And it looks like the little fun day that they had during Season 2, Episode 1. Oh, they drew on the wall. There's a little marker on there. Yeah, it's in there. I didn't. I don't want to really go through by my stuff. And then we have the Stolitz plus Blitz witch thing, which well, it's really inspired by the uh, the Baggy and Charlie one, which I do appreciate because that one's really cute. It does look like he's trying to cook Blitz now. <laughs> and then lastly, we have uh, Stolitz and Blitz making little cookies that look like horses. That almost does. It. Just one thing to wrap up, we gotta show off the pins, because technically those count for the collection. I'll probably just put them up here and whatnot. I gotta see what I wanna do with this top shelf. But uh, we'll figure that out next time on Dragon Ball Z. So let me go grab them. I say let me go grab them, they're right next to me. We got Moxies. Which is missing uh, two sets of pins. The, uh, the skull ones that go in the dark. And then the plush ones that were pre-order if you got the the big four plushies. So this is one of them. And then oh, please don't fall. That's gonna make a big noise because the mics right here. Then we have uh, pretty much all the Angel Dust pins and Fat Nugget pins all on this one board. And yes, I even got this one official. <laughs> Very cute. Gotta make sure I'm up to date with them. Never noticed how much of a difference of um, how many pins Angel Dust and Fat Nuggets have compared to Stolas now. You know, Angel Dust has been way more in development, but anyway. I really have this one, which is the Grimoire uh, a pin board and whatnot. And then I put some of the fan pins that I got on um, yeah, Oxycon on here. Really cute. I did find the uh, person at Etsy and I was going to order, but they didn't have any Octavia or Fat Nuggets. But, uh, yeah. I wish I could write them a review because I really want to put the, that in there, but you have to buy them from Etsy in order to review it. But I wasn't going to get a double piss. <laughs> and then, um, here's the big pin board, which I had most of them on there until I ran out of room. So this one has Solus and Octavia. Pretty much in order from when they were released, starting with the Solus headshot all the way to the Halloween uh, changing portrait wins. Yeah, so it kind of goes in order this way. So it's like a little timeline of how the pins have progressed and how many come out during a section. Jesus. Like, look at the Halloween. They got the, they got the set things, the glitter costumes, goth, party, fiery portrait, changing portraits. This is too many. <laughs> you imagine if I collected a different character? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then, um... Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I don't know why I was about to be like, I'm last but not least. This is last but not least. Yeah, so this, this is pretty much my entire collection. Um, mugs. I gotta find them somewhere. Uh, playmats are still somewhere. Uh, all standees seem to be accounted for and whatnot. Pins are all here. Yep, everything seems to be accounted for with keychains and whatnot, so pretty much everything. If you want to see an entire thing, 
it and whatnot. Uh, there's a playlist on on here that will show up for busy pop merch content if you want to look through it. Uh, pretty much me reviewing the announcement trailers, me getting the merch from those said announcement trailers. There was like an old like an old YouTube video that I did. I say old, it was like February of this year that I did it of uh, my collection and whatnot. So if you want to check out what some of the older stuff was, where I went to a little bit more detail, go check that out as well. Yeah, also, if you want to see like a very complete one, like a straight up list, I'll have an Excel spreadsheet down below for you to look at. And it basically kind of just tallies up everything that I have and whatnot. So take that as you will. I'll probably post this later on my, my Discord server, which by the way, you should join. But we have a lot of fun. It's mainly them. Mainly Elf and Derpy really fooling me on how much I suck at Minecraft and whatnot, but I digress. So I'll put this in the Vizipop channel if anyone sees it. I want to see if I can find a bit more stuff, but anyway, thank you guys for coming out here. Appreciate it. And I can see you guys next time for some more Vizipop content in the future. Take care. Bye!